Welcome to All About The Brand Podcast. I'm Courtney Sargent Sr. bringing you the best advice and strategies for building your personal brand and living your American dream. Today, I'm so excited. This is gonna be a good one, folks. We're talking about the three R's of building a dedicated target audience for your personal brand. Listen, as a personal brand, I need you to know and understand something. You have a message. You have something to say, something that only you can say the way you say it. Your message has been crafted by your life's journey, meaning the things that have happened to you in your life has caused you to have a certain perspective about life. And that informs your message. And I believe there is a specific group of people who have been earmarked by destiny to follow and listen to you. These are your people. OK, this group of people, th these are your folks, right? These people will follow you to the end of the earth. And the thing about it is they're waiting for you. They're waiting to hear from you. They're waiting to buy from you even. Furthermore, there is a subset group of people who I believe are not living their full destiny because you're not motivating them to. Because they need your voice. They need your voice to feel valued. They need your voice to feel like they belong. They need your voice to be motivated and inspired to do what they were created to do. You understand what I'm saying? So my job here today is to give you a few insights on how you can reveal, reach and relate to your audience. So if you're ready, let's go. Today, I'm giving you the three R's of building your target audience, reveal, reach and relate. So first off, how do you reveal your audience? How do you know who your audience is, especially when you're starting out? Sometimes you just you just don't know. You reveal your audience by becoming a specialist and serving a niche. Let me ask you a question. If you need legal assistance with, say, getting a divorce, now, hopefully you don't. <laughs> hopefully you never need divorce advice. But if you do, where would you go? To a paralegal? To general counsel? No, you go to a divorce attorney, a lawyer who specializes in divorce, a divorce attorney, right? If you need uh, advice on your cash flow, right? You need advice on accounting, you go to an accountant right? An attorney who operates in that specific niche. You catch my flow? So as it relates to audience building, a niche is a very specific group of people who's interested in a very specific topic like comic books or gamers, people who sew, people who are into gardening. Believe it or not, there are people, <laughs> as crazy as it may sound, there's people out there who like to watch other people eat. It's called mukbang. I know it's the craziest thing I've ever seen, but it's a niche. I personally hate the sound of mouth noises. I don't like to hear people's noises within their mouth while they eat or talk. It's so irritating to me. But anyway, so what's your niche? Let me know in the comments. Uh, I'm really interested in learning more about you. What is your specific topic of area of expertise? What do you specialize in? Whatever it is, there is a group of people in that group who's ready and willing to hear from you. But here's the other thing. You have to be OK with niching down because you're going to cut some people out. You're going to leave some people out and you have to be OK with the fact that your product, your service, your message, content topic is not for everybody. It's not uh, for those who don't like it. It's for who it's for. And you just got to be OK with that. You can't reach everybody. Don't fall into the trap of believing that everyone is your audience because they're not. By trying to reach everyone, you'll end up reaching no one. So niche down and become a specialist. That's how you reveal who your audience is. The second R, reach. How to reach your audience. You reach your audience by showing up and going where they are. Show up where your audience is. Be visible. Be where they can see you. Be where they can hear you, right? How do you do that? You do that through marketing. You do that through advertising, through intentional branding. Let me tell you a short story. A few years ago, I spoke at this business conference and I asked the audience to raise their hand if they consider themselves an entrepreneur. Nearly every hand in the building touched the sky. Then I asked them, raise your hand if you spend time or money on branding and marketing. No one raised their hand. Listen. You can't expect people to come to you just because you're in business. Build it and they will come is a lie in business and branding. You cannot start a business 
and think that people are going to just knock down your door and automatically find you. That's not the way that it goes, man. I'm sorry. I wish it was. I honestly do wish it, w- it was that easy, but it's not that easy. You have to brand and market yourself. You got to show up. And the one thing that I've learned is that to reach an audience, you don't have to do anything crazy. You just got to be visible and consistent. That's it. To be truthfully honest with you, especially when you start out, you have to put yourself out there so that people know you exist and keep on doing it. And yes, there is a lot of stuff that you can do, like pushing your message to people through social media, through promoted posts, Facebook ads, email marketing, lead captures on your site. Uh, video marketing, Google ads, YouTube ads, collaborations, the list goes on and on and on and on. Like there is, there's an endless amount of things that you can do to push your message to people. Starting out, my advice to you is just right now, start with where you are with what you have until it makes sense for you to do more and or do things differently. Okay. I truly believe one of the top three reasons startup entrepreneurs fail is because they don't market themselves. Listen to me. You will never succeed if you never make yourself available to succeed. So if you want to reach your die hard, true fanatical audience, your group of people, it starts with being visible. Hey, if you're enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment and let me know. Thank you. Okay, finally, how do you relate to your audience? The last R. There are many different things that you can do to relate to your audience, but I'm going to give you just a few of these right now. I'm going to give you three, actually. To relate to your audience, you must speak their language. This is first and foremost. Speak to your audience like you're speaking to them, right? In a one-on-one personal conversation. Speak to them, not at them. No one likes to be spoken at. Use the words that they use. Now, I'm not talking about code switching, and which means acting differently around different people. Because the truth of the matter is you have found your niche and you should already be speaking their language naturally. Learn how to tailor your message and your deliverability based on who you're talking to at the time. To relate to your audience, get them involved and ask for their feedback. Um, I remember early in the company when we started Vicky Cakes, I often ask, we often ask our customers for feedback and we actually implemented the feedback that we felt was relevant. For example, the first design of our bags had the word buttermilk on it. And vegans started asking if our pancake mix is dairy free, and vegan. And in fact, it is. Our, our mix is vegan. Uh, and by the way, buttermilk is not dairy free. It has dairy in it from a cow. You get what dairy is. <laughs> so anyway, we ended up removing the word buttermilk from the bag to appeal to a broader audience because those are our people and we wanted them to feel included. And that one decision, I promise you, it has revolutionized our business and increased our revenue many, many times over. Have you ever made a decision that directly impacted your income like that? If so, let me know in the comments. Okay, last thing I wanna tell you real quick. Circa 2011, short story. I was 24 years old, young, hungry, passionate. I was running a freelance graphic design business called Dominion Artistry, which was my first official company. And I started exploring photography as a hobby on the side, you know, just something fun to do. Then something interesting happened. People started to ask me if I was a photographer for hire, if I could shoot their event. Now, initially it was just a hobby. So I just kept saying, no, you know, I only do it for a hobby. Um, But then I got asked so much. I just started saying yes. (laughs) And what happened was almost immediately I doubled my income and I was making more money then than I'd ever made. And it was it was really, really crazy. I was easily making five hundred dollars an hour for a photo shoot, you know, doing something that I already love to do. And I listened to what the market was asking me for and I gave it to them. That's how I doubled my income. And I later implemented videography because that was another gap in my city. People needed it. So I gave it to them. And by the time I was 25 years old, I had three businesses like I was I was making bank. You know what I'm saying? So listening to the market proved to be a very wise business decision for me at the time. And I know it will be for you as well. If you do it, if the market is telling you that they want product A, give it to them. Don't get stuck in your own mind and your own way of doing things. If that's not what people want, give them what they want. So let's recap. I'm almost out of time. The three R's of building your dedicated target audience for your personal brand. 
reveal you reveal your audience by becoming a specialist in serving a niche reach you reach your audience by showing up and going where they are relate you relate to your audience by speaking their language getting them involved asking for their feedback and giving them what they want it's as simple as that all right that's all the time that i have for today if the info you got in this video was helpful in any way please leave a thumbs up and su consider subscribing because it helps other people like you discover the show thanks for listening and until next time i'm wishing you all of the success you're willing to attract into your life let's make it better by going up together i love you my friend peace